Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Moment 7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. Ah, uh, yeah, only the Navy can win this war. Coastal raid down there, no. Nice, we sank the raider. Halt construction on one of them. Nice! Magazine box protection, now we can get K guns. Oh my god! Fleet sized coastal battle. Um, hmm. Attack enemy ships in general. Yeah, I might. Probably not well at war, but I might. We just don't have enough ships to go around right now. I might start doing that, actually. Yeah. Um. Wait. What? So our... This is a fleet size, but it's only a cruiser engagement. Uh... Battle generator? Are you drunk? Alright, so... Already blockading them. Yeah, yeah, fair. But the problem is their submarines are already being really effective, and taking anything off of that's just going to make them a little more effective for a turn or two. Um, but I do want to get those K-guns. Um, heavy. Ready to strike. Wait, form as a core group on Zrini. Did it, have, like... All of our light cruisers are core groups on these guys. And you're bringing up the pack. A new... Yeah, I might design a new one. Now that's a little better than the... Than Marseille, which unfortunately sank. Because the French were fucking morons. That exceeds deck load. Actually, wait, where's our target? Oh, there. I went the wrong way. Bam. Um. Well, you guys go this way now. So we have a trader down there. We have a CL up here. I'm wondering if what's going on here is the enemies don't have any battle cruisers they can throw out this turn. But they might. They might have one. Oh my god. What is my birdie doing? Why are you a little goofy birdie? Let's go on my shoulder, I think. Naval Air Station Pola hit. Oh god, they're hitting our air station. They're suppressing. Oh, there we go. We got some bomb hits. On the land target. Okay. We've sighted a ship. Go 20 knots now. Oh, I have a mail. Uh, I can't get that right now. 
Their base pull is getting hit hard by the enemy. Do we have anything to ready up here? Ready. Um. Alright, no. Naval strike. Torpedo. Ready those, guys. Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, no, no. We can uh, change our target to there. Yeah, so that would be at dusk though, unfortunately, so... Although we'd be closer, so... I say launch the strike. It's like after this war I want to get my forces a little better sorted, but during the war not as much. Okay, that's a medium merchant. So that's probably the cruiser force they put against us, whatever that was. Yeah, heaves two, that merchant's dead. Yep, yeah, detach her to do. Yep, yeah, detach them, rescue survivors. We're gonna go back to cruise speed again. And we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. Although, see if we can uh, pick up any. Uh, Enemy warships here. I'm not seeing any. How? What is it with alien mine layers? Alright, so Inn is now heading back to port. I hope she makes it. She might not. She might. Inn sights an unknown ship. Moving that way. What's going on here? Yeah, change course. Crap, those are destroyers. Well, that's a battle cruiser. They got it back in service, boys. Attack! Oh god, shoot it! Oh, look at that. How did you not... How did you miss it there? Oh, well, that ship's on fire. It has slowed. It has stopped. Uh, we want to come up in this direction, roughly. Okay, they're coming back around here, actually. Let's... Now, thankfully, we had to lose on the rear end of our formation, so I do believe that she shot that uh, enemy ship when it briefly appeared. So we want to keep that as an... Okay, so is that the enemy... Destroy... No, that's enemy cruisers up there. Yep. Uh, we're gonna lose uh, Pola here, one of our Fido class. Where is that battle cruiser, though? So it's probably up here somewhere. That destroyer's... Is it that guy? 
What did Carolina just get near missed by? Uh, six inch hit. So that's... We know that has... Okay, we're identifying that as CL. That's probably accurate if that's a six inch gun. On the other... Yep, there we go. On the other hand, that has just sailed into a number of our CLs. So I think it is dead. So that CL has sunk. You know, if that's down there, it was probably going to meet up with the ship over in this direction. And for whatever reason, my game went to slow. So that's a crippled destroyer. Probably sunk. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay, so they sank in, unfortunately, with the mine. Are these me still alive and kicking in the 30s? Yep. Honestly, all of our cruisers today I could probably keep around for the next war. I think I'm pretty content with all of them. Because our Thesmia is still fast. That's the thing. She's 28... or she's capable of 28 knots. I mean, that's maybe a little slow for this time. Or for this date and age. But... It's still not obsolete yet. Yeah. In has sunk. So we got... Multiple enemy cruisers. And my bird is just kind of flying back and forth. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to, uh... wonder how much you can still upgrade her. Probably not too much more. Um, it'll probably be something where... Late 30s or in the 40s she gets retired. Although it might be wind up being the case where she gets turned into an uh, anti-aircraft cruiser. What are you? That's them. Launch. Launch our flotilla attack now. There it is, the Marco Polo class battle cruiser. <laughs> oh my god, it just sailed straight into Zrini, Tyrol, and Lisa. And just got annihilated. Look at that, all four turrets knocked out just immediately. <laughs> oh, that is a dead battle cruiser right there. Just sails straight up and gets shot by like 10,000 rounds. <laughs> yep, point blank annihilation. If you have a major destroyer advantage, or if the enemy doesn't have a lot of destroyers and you get a night battle with them, and you play it well, you can you probably fare better against the nuke. You're not wrong. You are honestly not wrong. Yeah. That that ship's dead. That ship's very dead. All right, now we can go to cruise speed. I So we just kind of want to hang out in this area now and wait until uh Daytime, assuming that uh, it'll come before the timer's up. If it doesn't, then we're not gonna get the objective, unfortunately. But, you know, that's a pretty good trade for not getting the objective. Okay, so one of our cruisers has limited flooding. Wait, didn't we lose a cruiser? So we lost in up there. Wait. I thought we lost a, one of our Fido class cruisers somewhere. It doesn't look like it's going to be daytime. Nope. What? Huh? Error in show result screen. Um.
Let's do a save and a reload here. Real quickly. But yeah, this'll... That'll probably be my last battle. I just want to see the results screen, because there is an error in show results screen. So that is not a good sign. And let me press spacebar and continue the battle. So I'm thinking that if I reload the scenario, it'll be a little better. Still definitely buggier than Rule the Waves 1. Um, okay. So there's prob... Can we still just hang out over here then? Is it... There we go. Now it's over. And Pylades is torpedoed. So three cruisers heavily damaged. We sank an enemy battle cruiser, two enemy light cruisers, an enemy destroyer, and an enemy trader. I will take that. And we lost a destroyer to a mine. So, in your attack. So, this is when it happens. 315, or 115, or no, 130115 until, like, here. So, at this moment, 15 inch hit, 15 inch hit, 4 inch, 4 inch, 4 inch hits. So it took all that in one minute. Two 15 inch hits, 4, or 3 4 inch hits. Next minute, uh, 4, four more heavy hits. Two 14s, two 15s. Uh, and, and a 4 inch. Next minute, uh, four inch hit, four inch hit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen inch hits. 480 hits in a matter of minutes. Jesus. Well, some of these hits came about after it was already sinking, and that was probably in a matter of, you know, more couple of hours. But, yeah. And then high speed increases flooding. At 118, 15 inch hit, 15 inch hit. Four four inch hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen inch hits, plus another two four inch hits. One nineteen, fifteen inch hit, fifteen inch <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> two, three, four. Five, we unloaded seven fifteen inch hits and six fourteen inch hits on her in a minute. In the span of a minute. Next minute. Five fifteen inch hits. How many 14 inches? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 14 inches, plus a 4 inch hit. Then, oh dear God, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 15 inch hits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 14 inch hits, in a minute. And then, dear God, that 122 minute. That's why I rebind big caliber guns to be fired with the delete key. <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 heavy hits. I'm just gonna copy and paste, like, this whole section into a uh, Word document here. Or not. Yeah. Give me a moment. I'll save as, uh, call it Marco Polo Deleted. <laughs> there we go. I am pretty certain that ship got deleted. So it was sinking at 122, and we engaged it at 115. Seven minutes! In seven minutes, we deleted that thing. With just all of our heavy guns. That took seven minutes for all of those heavy hits. Several dozen heavy hits to strike the ship. So it scored some hits on Diana earlier than that. And in that entire time period, it didn't manage to hit any of our ships. I'm actually curious, when did the turrets get destroyed? So one of them was destroyed at 116 
two of them were destroyed at 118. The one was disabled at 119. And then... Alright, that one was disabled then. Alright, that turret was destroyed then. Turret Y was destroyed then. So it had one disabled at uh, 120. And then 121, the fourth turret was destroyed. So it took five minutes for us to complete or to render her main firepower completely destroyed. Now that's going to get me my prestige back, thank you very much. Now with that being said, I think I will be calling the stream here after I do one more thing, and that is I rebuild these Gerties. Now, with K-Guns. Oh! Yeah, okay, cool. You no, know, it would probably be good to get dual purpose guns here. Two. But, you know, they're not going to be that much. Well, I don't think cost doesn't. I'll, I'll save that, though. We'll rebuild the Gerties here. As well as, uh, some of the, uh,. Some of these older ones. With, uh... K-guns. Alright. And with that, I think I will call the livestream over. So, Italy is blockaded. Uh... We have a lot of... No, I can't. I can't. It doesn't fit on the ships, right? Wait. Yeah, no, those are 600 tonners. Won't fit. Doesn't fit. I can get two. I can't get four. Um, Actually, let's look at our aircraft types again. So that's in development. So that's done now. But we have, so we have two flow plane scouts. Um, yeah, I think... Okay, that one wound up being slower. I think, but longer range. Well, that one's a little... uh. We'll keep them both in service. I think they're both roughly equal. And it is nice that we're getting a new torpedo bomber. Well, it's not really that great of a torpedo bomber, though. Our current one's pretty good. So, yeah, I will... Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.